So I'm joined by Jack Barrett from Juniper Networks. Jack, nice to see you. Nice to see you, Mark. Um, so we're here talking about obviously STN and, and NFV and really the organisational transformation that that requires. Um, I guess there's two ways of doing that. One is kind of to be quite proactive, one is to be quite reactive. What, what, what's your views on that? What, which, which is a better way to do it? Well, I think being proactive is always uh, the better approach. Uh, it allows you to learn more and set your own agenda and set objectives. When you're reactive, then you're responding to something that somebody else has done in the market. And to be successful at that strategy, I think a company needs to be very nimble and uh, have the ability to move very quickly. Okay. Um, obviously, it's quite a nascent technology, so having those discussions with different teams across the organization, kind of quite hard, I guess, when people don't really know how it's going to affect themselves and what they're doing. Right. How, how, how can op uh, operators sort of really sort of help that process? The, the process or the approach that I like to take is a technique called a balanced scorecard. Mm. And, and out of a balanced scorecard you create what's called a strategy map. Typically the strategy maps have four perspectives. Mm. They have a financial perspective, a customer perspective, an internal perspective, and a people and skills perspective. And what you do is on each of those perspectives you start to outline your objectives and metrics around each of those. And once you do that it's fairly clear you know how you can um, you know discuss with other organizations you know what their particular objectives are and via the strategy map you can see how they are all interrelated mm, okay um, obviously one of the other key topics is how it's going to kind of affect purchasing decisions um, particularly around sort of network technology um, what are your sort of thoughts on that how, how is it going to affect that, that area yes uh, so that's a great question the I think that's going to be a, a big evolution in terms of the supplier and customer relationship I think they have to start to look at suppliers now as more as business partners in a lot of these. You want to look for a supplier uh, that will co-develop uh, new applications. You want to look for a supplier that will bring an open ecosystem of partners um, because it's a much more dynamic environment. Right? So I think it's very important to look through partners that can enable you to do things that are outside your core competencies and think through them as strategic partners and not as a traditional customer-supplier relationship. Okay, Jack, thank you very much. You're welcome.